All right, uh, let's look at the homework one, uh, problem number four. All right, so we're going to use the graph to find the x-intercept, y-intercept, and the slope. All right, so uh, let's do that. So I'm going to just make this picture a little bit bigger. All right, so if you want to find the x-intercept, that's the point where uh, it intersects the x-axis. So if you go along the x-axis and you find the graph hitting this point, so you can see that it's a 1, 2, 3. So that will be negative 3, right? So x-intercept is uh, negative 3, right? Let's check the answer, right? So we got that. All right, so we want the y-intercept. So I'm going to just, uh, right? So y-intercept is the, the place where it intersects the y-axis. So it's going to be, uh, let's see, that's uh, negative 10. So it seems like it's 1 before, so it's negative 9. Right, so we have negative nine. All right, check the answer. All right, we got that. All right, so uh, the slope is uh, you can see that uh, it's going down. So as you go to the uh, maybe I'll make the picture bigger. As you go to the right three units, it's gonna go down nine units. Right, so the run is gonna be uh, three. And the uh, rise is actually, since it's going down, it's negative 9. So rise over run. So negative 9 is rise over run is 3. So negative 9 over 3 would be three, negative 3. So slope is negative 3. All right. So check the answer. All right. We got that. All right. Then we want to find the, uh, the slope intercept form. So slope is negative 3. So it's negative 3x and uh, plus y intercept. The y intercept, we just found that to be negative 9. So it's going to be minus 9. All right? Check the answer. All right? We got that. All right? That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.